It's a half mile road that leads hundreds of drivers to their homes, but the hunt for who's responsible for it took more turns than the road itself. Yeah, tonight Rebecca Collette is investigating who's responsible for the River's Reach Drive after taking a call from a local homeowner concerned about the safety of that road. Rivers Reach Drive was built in the 80s to connect one neighborhood to Clements Ferry, but since then, a half dozen neighborhoods have popped up on this skinny road. With more homes under construction, David Largent worries. It is narrow, way too narrow. It's not marked. There are deep ruts on each side of the road. But when he started asking questions to Berkeley County, he hit a dead end. I mean, no one wants to be responsible for this road, and no one ever seems to want to do something about it. When I contacted Berkeley County, I was initially told it belonged to Homes Unlimited of Charleston, Inc. But when I looked it up, the company dissolved in 2008. Then, when I asked the county a second time, I was told Charleston annexed the road, including nearly 7,000 acres, and the county sent me a statement reading in part, the city of Charleston allowed the peninsula development to access the roadway, cut the roadway, and tear up the roadway without any coordination with Berkeley County, adding, we abandon any and all interests we had in the roadway. With this discovery, I took my questions to the city of Charleston. I've actually been out and looked at the road recently. The city's deputy director of public services, Mike Metzler, says it's not in the worst shape. But in an effort to answer my questions about who's responsible for maintaining the road, the city discovered something unique. Annexation specifically excluded Rivers Reach Road. As highlighted in these documents from 1995. And that's not a common practice. It usually only happens if the road was private and the owner wanted to keep it private or if it didn't meet city specifications and the owner didn't want to bring it up to code. Now do you that's, know in this case? No, we do, I don't know. There's no records that indicate why it was not in, annexed at the time. The city records indicate D.R. Horton owns the road. So I reached out to them, and my story took another turn. According to D.R. Horton, they aren't responsible either and never were. Here's what happens next. The city is communicating with D.R. Horton to see if they have records to compare with the city's legal department. Before any work can be done to patch the ruts or restripe, the legal owner has to be identified. This is a story I will continue to follow. Rebecca Clett, count on two. All right, Rebecca, thank you. If you have something you want Rebecca to investigate, email us at theinvestigators at wcbd.com or you can call the hotline at 843-216-4949. Well,